Cześć, 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 witam was wszystkich, tutaj Frodo, witajcie w kolejnym odcinku z naszej przygodówki Secret Files 2, Puritas Cordias, czyli druga część Tunguski. Tutaj ostatnio sobie zakończyliśmy i jak możecie zauważyć, troszeczkę zmieniłem też rozdzielczość tej gry, no przez to, że ten poprzedni odcinek był taki, a nie inny, czyli taki można powiedzieć zbadżony, więc nawet jak tutaj przyjdziemy, to widzimy te kopczyki, nie? Wcześniej nie było ich widać, no i ten kubeczek nieszczęsny, który udało nam się tutaj e, też zdobyć. Mam ten kubeczek nadal, tak. Yy, słuchajcie, nie za bardzo wiem, co by tutaj dalej można było zrobić. Tego ona nie chce tutaj powiesić. <śmiech> ten dalej tutaj jest. Nie wiem, jak się mam go pozbyć. Chociaż przestawił yy, w poprzednim odcinku autko. Tak, nie ma tego auta. Tak, nie ma tego auta. Jezus. Tu już nie wezmę żadnej wróżby, więc... Chociaż czekajcie, może on jeszcze może mi zrobi jakąś, jakieś ciasteczko. No. A jakbyśmy na przykład wzięli... No niech będzie ta wróżba. Jeszcze raz. Excuse me! What? Oh. Uh, what? Sorry to disturb you, but is there any way of putting this fantastic message back inside a fortune cookie? Of course. All you need to do is bake a new cookie. Would you do that for me? Uh, oh well, it's not like I've got anything better to do. Nie wiem, czy to jest po prostu sens, y, bo tą wróżbę, którą mieliśmy, to już daliśmy mu. W sumie nie przeczytałem tej teraz, y, co wkładam. Można by było mu dać, no nie? Ale ja wiem. Tam w sumie były dobre dwie, chyba jakoś tak. Thank you so much. Boo! <laughs> What? Oh, oh, did I fall asleep again? <laughs> Looks like it. I am sorry. What can I do for you? Didn't you tell me you need to wait here until the surveyor goes home for the day? Yes, but that may be a while yet. I don't know. Can you see his car anywhere? Oh, so he already left for today? I thought it's so early. Why would you care? Yes, indeed. Why shouldn't I be lucky for once and simply enjoy my luck? Please excuse me. I ah, czyli chodziło o auto, a on nadal jest. Dobra. Czyli słuchajcie, wszystko ok. It's amazing. No matter how sluggish people are. The minute their working day ends, they suddenly move as fast as lightning. Not that I care. Just as long as the snack stand is no longer in the way, and the laser beam... Ah. Uh, but the laser beam, where did it go? Ktoś mi to zajął, mał? Co się dzieje? A spirit level with a built-in laser pointer. Unfortunately, it's not working. Why not? That's an excellent question. A może baterie wysiadły? Poczekajcie. Good idea. No. Maybe the batteries are dead. I've had that problem with my camera. No dobra. Bo to te bateryjki tu były. To co teraz mogę to powiesić? Czy dalej nie, nie, nie pozwalasz? I have an idea. Let's see if it works. Jesus. No, ale to... Take it down. No. I quite like this construction. I'm leaving it where it is. The minute I overcome one obstacle, the next problem rears its head. And I don't think violence is going to help me here either. Chyba, że po prostu tutaj znowu laser dam ten. The laser beam points in the right direction and hopefully shows the way to the hiding place Aha, mentioned by możesz. Sister Elise. Mm -hmm. So... Why would I remove the level from there? Znaczy, no chciałem, żeby tu położyć, na to lusterko. That's too light to change the mirror's position in any way. Aha, lekkie. No to może woreczek. Będzie? Aha, dobra. No i kopiec jest. Kratowisko. What am I supposed to do? Go up on a mole hunt? I don't have time for that. I need to save the world. No to... No to co z tym kubkiem? To może ten kubek? 
Nie. I made such an effort getting this boring old paper cup to look all nice and shiny. I'm not about to ruin my masterpiece. Jeju, to ja nie mam tutaj takich rzeczy. Folię aluminiową jeszcze mogę dać. Aha. I'm sure I could use this to reflect the laser beam. But then I would have to stand here all day. An excellent assignment for an intern, not for someone who's busy saving the world. No to może na ten kopiec. Jezu. No. Odbija się dalej. Aha, okej. Okay. The laser beam is pointing towards the ruins. Off I go then. The laser beam is pointing at that heap of rubble. Never mind. I know where I need to look now. No tak, tylko że... No, These może... stones probably belonged to some ruins further up and slid down the hill quite a while ago. Some of these stones are so big that I would need heavy equipment in order to shift them. No to on to ma. Czekajcie, może on by to zagadać i, i on by to wziął. Can I bother you again? I strongly suspect that it... So, you're hoping... Of course. What are you... Anything that... With all... Don't worry. Oh. Aha. I'll leave you... Okay. To już było, więc przewijam. Nie będę was tutaj zamęczał. A co z tym ciasteczkiem może mu dać? I brought you another freshly baked fortune cookie. For me? That is really nice of you. That's me. Well, does it say anything meaningful? Fortune cookies are always meaningful, but in this case, it didn't tell me anything new that wasn't in my horoscope anyway. So, I really don't need to worry today. Well, that's all right then. Ugh, to czyli też ciasteczko w cholerę. Wróżbę tylko straciliśmy. Ten kubeczek mogę tu wcisnąć? Ale po co to? There it lies, buried under rocks. No nie gadaj, że on się na to nabierze. Że to jest plastikowy kubek folią aluminiową urąbany. Can I bother you again? I strongly... Would you be interested in something like a silver Srebrnym goblet? kielichem. Yes, sure. Uh. Did... Did you find something? I'm not sure. Over there, under that pile of rubble. Where? Where exactly? Take me there. No. Yes, indeed. There is something sparkling down there. Let me just get my equipment from the car and start moving this rubble. I'll be right back. There, that did it. I don't know much about this historical stuff, but I'll just take this goblet to a uh, an expert I know. What about me? What about you? Am I not getting a reward? Uh, hmm, sure. As soon as I sell this, I'll give you, shall we say, 20%? 50. 30? 40. 35. Okay. Fine. Wait here. I'll be back soon. Nierosamowite po prostu. Naprawdę dałeś się na to nabrać, gościu. At least the grave robbers of the past had a certain amount of expertise. On the other hand, there are so many incompetent people in so many professions. Why should grave robbers be any different? At least now I have access to the wall where the laser beam was pointing. No i co to jest w ogóle? Jak to wygląda? Żelazny pierścień. Żelazny pierścień, tak? A heavy iron ring. It might have been used to tether animals. No, ale... I'll try pulling it. Or maybe pushing it. Or maybe I need to turn it. No i? A, nie było tak źle. The laser beam pointed straight to this room. That leads me to hope that Sister Elise's hidden key is here somewhere. Time to begin searching for it. No to mamy trochę rzeczy tutaj. 
No nie, to jest beczka wina, no. I wonder how old this barrel might be. But even more interesting is the wooden board firmly attached to the top of it. Tu? A jest deska, no. The barrel is way too heavy. There are buttons recessed into the wooden board and a single indentation on the left. Could this be some kind of mechanism to reveal the hiding place that Elise mentioned? But why are the buttons locked in place? I can't press them. Am I still missing something to raise them from the board? One of the many buttons with letters on them. The button seems to be locked in place. Mm -hmm. Nacięcie. A small indentation in the wood. Nothing's happening. To jest jakieś jakie inne, nie? Nothing's happening. Too bad. I couldn't fit a sheet of paper between the button and the edge of the recess, let alone a knife blade. Aha. No dobra, to tu chyba na razie nic. Beczka. Przejście. Tu nie można nigdzie. No widzę jakąś tarczę, słuchajcie, tu mamy. No i to jest beczka. Wszystko, naprawdę? Myślałem, że będziemy mieć tu rzeczy. Kamienne dyski. Three stone discs and a set of buttons. It's obviously some kind of mechanism. I wonder why the discs all have different colors. Do I have to align the holes in a certain position? Maybe they need to overlap. And what about these numbers? Are they important? If so, how? Przycisk. Looks like some kind of push button. Each stone disc is a different color. However, the numbers are all the same, and the holes are positioned between the same numbers on all the discs. Looks like some kind of push button. <coughs> Nothing happened. Mm -hmm. Czekajcie, bo jakoś mamy podpowiedź. Hmm. E, otwory we wszystkich trzech dyskach muszą się pokrywać. Aha, zrobić taki otwór. Najprościej będzie wpierw użyć przycisku, który obraca wszystkie trzy płyty. Następnie tego odpowiedzialnego za dwie dyski, a na koniec tylko jeden. A który odpowiada za trzy? A ten za trzy, nie? No ale to... No tu było. To może zostawmy to. Co? A nie, to teraz ten się przestawia. Czekajcie. Tak chciałem. Też źle. Tamten mi się przestawił. A ten? A ten przestawia tylko ten jeden. Spoko, to nie było tak źle. Czyli dobra była podpowiedź. A czekajcie, bo coś tu sknąciłem. O Boże. I did it! No. Now that the holes are all overlapping, a small niche has been uncovered. I co to jest? A gold signet ring. To bier. <śmiech> dobra, mamy jakiś, słuchajcie, pierścień. To może ten pierścień byśmy tu wtrynili. Ten There are buttons recessed into the wooden board and a single indentation on the left. Tu. Could this be some kind of mechanism to reveal the hiding place that Elise mentioned? But why are the buttons locked in place? I can't press them. Am I still missing something to raise them from the board? The ring fits perfectly. And the buttons have been raised from their fittings. That just leaves the question of what I'm supposed to do with all these buttons. Obviously, your mind is on more frivolous things. We're not here for the booze. 
While you are indulging in old vintages, I have managed to decipher oh, the plaque. No to w sam no? raz, w samą porę. Clues? Yes, but they aren't terribly conclusive. I'm listening. Actually, all it says is that the statue depicts Saint Austrobert of Rouen. The Archbishop? In whose honor the town of Gatineau was founded? That's right. How did you know? That kind of thing is common knowledge. You have me impressed. Thanks. Didn't it say anything else? No, it doesn't really help us, does it? Who knows? I'll keep it in mind. Did it really say nothing else on the plaque besides the name? No, only that the statue depicts Saint Austrobert of Rouen. Austrobert. Hmm, that's not much to go on, is it? Who knows? This information might eventually come in useful in some way. Just don't ask me what way. I will keep trying. Znaczy, no pewnie to imię trzeba tutaj wyryć, tak? Chodźcie, zobaczymy. Czy rzeczywiście... No niby jest. A... Czekajcie, jak on się nazywał w ogóle? Mogę tutaj gdzieś zobaczyć? Jezus, jak on się nazywał? To muszę sobie napisać. No nie ma. Dobra. To weźcie jeszcze raz. Jak on się nazywa? Austro. Could you give me a hand? Sure. What is it? Jak, jak? Did it really say nothing else on the plaque besides the name? No. Only that the statue depicts Saint Austrobert of Rouen. Bert. Dobra, Austrobert. Austrobert. Who knows? This information. Dobra, nie gadaj mi już. To już wiem. Pokażcie. Austrobert. Um, no to a, o, tu też jest a. A, u. Tylko że to jest dużo s, 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 t, r. E, B, E, R, T. It sounded like the mechanism was reset. Serio? No to co takie źle zrobiłem? A, U. To jest za dużo esek, wiecie? I ja nie wiem. Sounded like the mechanism was reset. <laughs> la la la. This sketch was enclosed with Sister Elise's oh. letter. I might need it in order to deal with these mysterious buttons. I'll put it down here so I can look at it. Aha. This sketch was part of Sister Elise's letter. No dobra, ale to, to, to też mi nic nie mówi. To by to była chociaż jakaś ścieżka. Tak jakby połączone były, tak? A, U, no ale to zrobiłem. A, U, S, Ty, dobrze. Ry, a, dobra, to czekajcie, to robimy tak. A, U, S, Ty, Ry. I teraz E, to będzie T, E. Znowu to. E. R. T. Dobra, dało się. Ja pierdzielę, to trzeba, można, można było powtórzyć te same. Let us have a closer look at the letter before we voice our disappointment. It must contain something really important. It is addressed to Cardinal Coubertin in Paris. 
evidently written by a certain Bernard. Just read it out loud, will you? To his most exalted eminence, Cardinal Coubertin, I am much relieved to hear that you received my encoded letter in Paris. You will understand my circumspection once you have decoded the letter in its entirety. For in the wrong hands, this account could easily corrupt the faith of those whose hearts harbor even the slightest of doubts. After reading only a few lines, you will come to realize how quickly this will shake the foundations of our very society and lead to utter chaos such as has never been seen before. Thus, to be on the safe side, I will not send our usual messenger to bring you this letter and the enclosed templates, but our beloved mm -hmm. sister Elise, I urgently implore you to keep this letter and the templates safe in your secret archives at your estate. As you know, Zandona's influence is immense, and we shall need any proof of his sacrilege in order to have him tried by the Inquisition. This template is the key that will allow you fit to place into my hands. Place the templates on the parchments which the messenger brought you ten days ago, and you will realize the full extent of the disaster that is upon us. In his blind, boundless ravings, he has spelt doom for Gatineau and predicted the downfall of the town in the eternal flames of perdition. And you know what that means. An entire town. He wants to erase the whole town, for he believes himself to be both judge and executioner in the name of our almighty Lord. And that is only the beginning. My previous letter will reveal to you the horrors that we face. All those terrible plans of Zandona and his congregation, Puritas Cordis, that he assembled in the name of God in order to spread his outrageous teachings as the word of our Lord Almighty himself. I hope that my knowledge will prompt you to take appropriate steps in order to prevent the worst from happening. I write these lines in utmost concern for my own life, but with certainty that I made the right decision. May the Lord grant our beloved sister the strength to deliver this message unscathed and in good time. May God protect us and be with us in these times of tribulation. I remain your humble servant, Bernard. Okay, let me just get this straight. Zandona and Puritas Cordis burned Gatineau to the ground. Sure looks like it. Why? I mean, what was the point? He probably wanted to make an example of them. A warning to all those who fail to heed his words. So he just invented a load of prophecies and then saw to it that they all came true? That's what it looks like. And Bernard, together with Cardinal Coubertin, tried to stop Zendona and his Puritus Cordus sect. Yes, evidently. But since Elise never arrived in Paris, and the Cardinal therefore never receives a proof against Zendona, Okay, so far, so bad. But all of this happened more than 350 years ago. What does any of this have to do with the here and now? Mm -hmm. I assume that either the Puritas Cordis sect secretly continued to exist through all those centuries, and for some reason have now resumed its activities, or... Or? Or it was founded anew. Whatever. What's all that got to do with our situation now? And the flood wave. Not to mention the forthcoming apocalypse that Elise was hinting at. I assume that back then, they managed to put an end to Zandona's doings after all, and prevent the apocalypse. I guess so, otherwise we wouldn't be having this conversation. Exactly. And the modern Puritas Cordis might actually want to do something about that. You mean they'll pick up where Zandona left off years ago and try... And tried to pull it off this time, right? Oh. And the end. What will it be like? I assume that the answer to this question can be found in Paris. With Coubertin? Yes. And you really think that Zendona's plans, the ones Brother Bernard sent to Paris, might still exist? In those secret archives that Bernard mentioned? Why not? 
So, using that information and the templates we found here, we might actually be able to anticipate the next moves of Puritus Cordis? And take some measures to block them. Hmm, okay. What are we waiting for? To Paris? Sure. The question is, where exactly do we go looking for these documents? Mm, Paris talk. is a big city. But Bernard wrote that the hiding place is at the Cardinal's estate. And how hard can it be to find that? Right. So let's go. Oh, I see you are awake now. Ah. Where... Where am that's I? The max, huh? Do not worry. You are quite safe. Safe? What makes me safe? These bars? Am I safe from you? Your questions will have to wait, I'm afraid. There are a few things we would like to know first. My employee found a photograph on you. It so happens that he worked as a barkeeper on the very ship this young lady was ah, traveling on. Mm -hmm. Who is she? That's none of your business. Now let me out of here. Now, now, keep calm. I think you fail to appreciate your position. You see, my employee is armed. You, on the other hand, are not. And one more thing. My employee will not hesitate to shoot you down if you keep trying our patience. Do I make myself clear? Yes, you certainly do. Good. We mean you no harm. On the contrary, we want to help you. But we shall expect a little help from you in return. So, who is the lady in this picture? My ex-girlfriend. Name? Nina Kalenkov. What do you want to know? What is this all about, anyway? Now, now. Who is asking the questions here? Well, it would appear that your ex-girlfriend has a certain problem, just like you. She fails to understand who makes the rules in this game. We would like to know where she is at the moment, and what she is planning to do next. Nina? How should I know? You still don't get it, do you? All right. One more time. Either you tell us what we want to know, or else... Or else what? Or else we will have to proceed without your help. But that would be painful, both for you and for your ex-girlfriend. So, you see, the choice is yours. I have a few important things to take care of that cannot possibly wait, but I will be back soon. And it would really be too bad if you still haven't made up your mind to cooperate by then. Too bad for you and for Ms. Kalenkov. No to ciekawie się zrobiło. Ale wracamy do Paryża. This is supposed to be the incredibly secret archive of Cardinal Coubertin that we've been looking for. We must be on the right track. We're going to find this archive. Ruiny. We simply must not fail. Hello? Are you listening to me? Yes, of course. Well, we're not going to find much here, are we? I am sure this is the right spot. It has got to be. You can see that there's nothing left here but a couple of foundation walls, right? Yes, but this place corresponds to the description. Therefore, it must. So what do we do now? If I only knew. Maybe we can find some old blueprints or historical documents which might give us a clue. Old blueprints? For ancient ruins? Have you got a better idea? No, I guess not. At least we must try it. There's no alternative, is there? Are you coming? Thanks, but I'd rather stay here and take another look around. I don't know what I'm looking for, but it's better than helplessly staring over your shoulder while you study Latin texts. Yes, you're probably right. I don't see for the life of me what we could possibly have overlooked here, but better be on the safe side. Shall we meet here then? All right. Wish me luck. We need it more than ever. I do. I wish you all the luck in the world. Thanks. And the same to you. Maybe you'll actually find something. Who knows? See you later. All right. 
I will have a closer look at these ruins then. No widzę, że już w słupie jest jakiś, wiecie, jakiś przycisk, także, o, błękitny kamień, także spokojnie. Słuchajcie, tam ta zagadka, e, o, nie mamy już tego. E, no nie wiedziałem, że można literki powtarzać, także to było właśnie takie podświetliwe, ale spoko zagadka. E, myślałem, że przeniesiemy się też od razu do Maxa, ale widzę, że nie. Powracamy do Niny. Dobra, będziemy musieli teraz tutaj kminić. Zobaczymy, co my tutaj mamy. Dobra, to chodź, zobaczymy, słuchajcie, najpierw ten błękitny kamień. Co to jest? There's a light blue stone stuck in the wall. How odd. It appears to be different from all the others. This stone is loose. Just a little yank. Wow! O tego to się nie spodziewałem. No to żeś wpadła. My mother always used to say, don't go playing in ramshackle buildings, dear. Oh, she was so right. Just what is this place? Szczelina. There's a cold draft coming from that crack. I wonder what's behind it. I can't even get my fingers in there. And I can't really imagine being able to open a massive stone door with my hands. Czyli tutaj tylko szczelina, tak? Zawalone wejście. This probably used to be the entrance. Crashing through the ceiling wasn't necessary back then. By the time I free up that passage, I will be old and gray. <laughs> okay. Paskorzeźba, no. Jezu, znowu literki. Ah, some of the letters can be turned. A skąd ja mam wiedzieć, które? The stone is light blue, and it shows the image of a white king. Białego króla. Ashford, England. Arno Dom. Now that my great, I will never forget that this Zandona. He may be. A... There is no sense in musing about. Perhaps it was up to me to prevent them. But and therefore the hope that they may boldly. T may the Lord be with sister. Mhm. Mm Nie, bo myślałem, że są jakieś podpowiedzi. A pokażcie, jak to wygląda. A ten nie można, ten można. I don't have the faintest idea what I would achieve by turning these letters. So fiddling with them doesn't appear to make much sense at this point. Też tak myślę. Mhm. Mm Nie, na razie no to skąd ja mam wiedzieć, co tutaj można by było zrobić. Um. This is the way back up to the ruins. A możesz wyjść na zamknięcie? So how will I get out of here? Aha. Wait a moment. I have a plan. No. A plan that has proven its worth for thousands of years. It's sophisticated and elaborate. The perfect rescue scheme. Pewnie będzie tarła morda. Let's see whether it works here. Help! Help! Get me out of here! Help! Anybody there? Hello? I'm here! Down here! Help me! How on earth did you get down there? The floor just gave way beneath me. If you don't mind, I'd really like to continue this conversation above ground. Do you think you could get me out of here somehow? Wait, I've got an idea. Thank you so much. You probably saved my life. It was my pleasure. Any time. I'm interested in this old chapel. I wanted to take a closer look, but obviously there isn't much left of it. No, it was largely destroyed during an air raid in World War II. But maybe I can help you? You? Yes, me. With nothing to do all day, you have to keep yourself occupied somehow. And I occupy myself with history. Excellent. Then maybe you can tell me something about Cardinal Coubertin. He had this chapel built, didn't he? Yes, he did. But there isn't a whole lot we know about him. 
All the records kept while he was in office are stored in his archives. And where are they? Who knows? They searched high and low after his death, but they haven't been found to this day. Nobody even remembers where he was buried. All I know is that he had a curator who took care of his legacy following his death in 1663. The curator died ten years later. They found his body in his squalid basement dwelling after he had been dead for a week. He should be buried in this cemetery as well, but I have no idea as to where exactly. I don't even really know his name. I think it was Michel or something like that. Well, at least it's a start. Not much to go on, but better than nothing. Are there no further clues? Not really. He was barely known around here. Cardinal Coubertin brought him back from one of his journeys. He wasn't a local man. Mm -hmm. Also, he hardly ever went out, and when he did, he was heavily covered up, which soon led to wild speculation amongst the locals. He served the Cardinal for almost 40 years. Okay. I'll take another look around here. Thanks again for the rescue and the brief history lesson. It was my pleasure. I'll be here for a while yet, so if you have any more questions... This chapel has me stumped. I need some additional hints. Maybe I should try to find the curator's grave first. I'm just going to take a look around. You do that. Mam że można mu zaufać. Bezdomny, dziwne to trochę. To jest przejście, czyli słuchajcie, na cmentarz. Dobra, pójdziemy Paryż. I don't know my way around Paris, and before I stumble around the city aimlessly, I had better check out this area here a little more thoroughly. They call this model the duck. Wieżajfla. <laughs> One of the most famous landmarks in the world. A reminder that some lucky people actually visit places just for fun. No, really. No i słuchajcie, tu ruiny, tak? There isn't much left of the old chapel. No i został na cmentarz. O, z te, ta kompostu też jeszcze tu. A compost heap. Coś możesz zabrać z niego? Poczekajcie. All right, all right. Here I go again, rummaging through dirt. Co tam ciekawego znajdziemy? Świeczkę. No dobra, zawsze to się przyda. I jakiś ołówek, tak? Czy coś? Kij, znaczy się, i świeczka. Dobra, słuchajcie, bardzo dziękuję Wam za dzisiaj. Dużo było rozmów w, w tym odcinku, niż jakiegoś grania tutaj. No ale przynajmniej wiemy więcej, idziemy dalej do przodu. Na następnym odcinku pójdziemy sobie na cmentarz i będziemy szukać dalszych wskazówek. Za dzisiaj Wam dziękuję i cóż, do następnego. Trzymajcie się, cześć.